USA Today bestselling author of Western Historical, Western Contemporary, and Highlander Romance. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe so you can keep in touch and you'll get a notification sometimes if you click the notification button to know if I'm putting up new content. So today I'm going to talk about something that I that came that dawned on me while I was cleaning out. I've been or trying to organize my life and part of that is purging and that has taken me days and days and days but I'm getting close to the end of stage one. I still have to go through the compartments of stuff. I don't know if you guys put ever purge and, and clean out and then you kind of end up with still little st stacks of little stuff that you still have to go through so that'll be stage two but for right now I'm done and I'm going to take a couple months break. So I'm going to share with you guys the books that I reach for most often in my bookshelf. They're all right here within arm's reach except for one. One is on my desk currently and that is the book that I'm reading right now and it's called The War of Art. The War of Art is a breakthrough, the blocks, and win your inner creative battles. It is written by Stephen Pressfield. The reason I recommend this book is because, first of all, it's it's more of a how to get out of your ruts, what's standing in your way, what you can do to change, you know, the obstacles. It talks about a lot about resistance and resistance being those obstacles and things that we sometimes put in our own way. I, I think he understands the creative types and understands writers because some of the chapters are less than half a page long. I am not kidding. Look at this chapter. That's one chapter. And you have plenty of room for notes, as you can see where I wrote notes. I don't feel guilty at all writing in this book. I think you will. It's a fast read, of course, but there are so many things in here, so much, so many little nuggets of information that you will find yourself opening it up again and again. Now, I do recommend you buy it in both ebook and in the paperback so you can write notes, the ebook so that you can have it with you wherever you go and can go back to it anytime you think of something that you might need to read about. So the first book that I recommend is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. The second book that I've had and I reach for over and over again through the years is The Miracle Morning for Writers and it is written by um, Elrod and Scott. And there is another book called Just the Miracle Morning. This one is specifically for writers. So I recommend this book. It has uh, everything to get you started, how to be more productive, especially in those wasted minutes when you first get up. I am one of those people that get up in the morning and kind of make my tea, check my email, and then I'll go to update my Facebook status and maybe stay on there for another hour. Well, this kind of tells you how to get yourself into a routine. One of the best um, things that I, I love about it is like chapter two, the, where is it? Chapter two's, uh, in, uh, title is only takes five minutes to become a morning person. I found myself going from a 9 30, 10 o'clocker to an 8 o'clock in the morning, get her get up her. <laughs> so now I get up almost two hours earlier and I still go to bed. It's like two o'clock in the morning. It's my choice. I guess I could go to bed earlier, but in this book, I, thanks to this book, I have learned how what more you can accomplish with those, that extra time. And believe me, we all need extra time and lots of times we're sleeping right through it. So I definitely recommend The Miracle Morning for Writers by Hal Elrod and Steve Scott. Now, another book that kind of, I would say, every fiction writer should have is Gold Motivation and Conflict by Deb, Deborah Dixon. Now this book is out of print, so it can be hard to find. I do recommend that you try eBay. Sometimes you can catch it on Amazon, and uh, it only comes in hardback, but you should get it. I, it might be in paperback now. I am not positive. I should have looked it up. If it is, I will put a link down below for it. But Goal, Motivation, and Conflict is about uh, the building blocks of good fiction, what you need to know to set every scene just right. So uh, uh, every writer worth their salt in fiction probably will tell you about this book and already owns it. So. Definitely recommend that you run out and purchase Goal, Motivation, and Conflict by Deborah Dixon. You need it. You need it. All right. Now my aha book, the book that I will say motivated me what most and that changed, actually changed my life quite a bit. It really is a life-changing book for me. And it's not just because of its sexy cover, but because of all the information that I got from it. I was at a convention and I ran into 
uh, Liliana Hart and was in her class and I was like scribbling notes like crazy and um, telling her, I wish that there was somewhere that I could get all this information that you just threw at me because it was so much to absorb. And she said, well, there is. And so uh, she pointed me to this book. Yes, it does have a sexy cover, but what's inside of it, this part, this part is what's sexy about this book. The Naked Truth About Self-Publishing is written by 10 best-selling, I'm talking New York Times, Mega Times authors. And they will share with you, to begin with, whether or not you should even be a self-publishing, a self-published author. And then they go on to tell you everything about the building blocks, the stumbling blocks, and all kinds of information on how to launch a series. I can't even tell you how precious this book is and how it is. Uh, it was a life changer for me and helped me get just uh, my writing career started. So there is a sequel written for it. It's on my shelf, of course, but this is the one that I reach for sometimes because I just have to have it. I just have to review some things and it's, it's just a go-to for me. Definitely recommend it. I will give you the author's names, Jenna DeLeon, Tina Folsom, Colleen Gleason, Jane Graves, Denise Grover Swank, Liliana Hart, Deborah Holland, Dorian Kelly, Teresa Reagan, and Jacinda Walder. Tell me that that is not a all-star crew and if a best place to get so much, so much priceless information. Now, my next three books that I'm going to share are my books that I use mostly for research. And as you guys know, mo most of the time I write in the Wild West in the 1800s. So I found these, this book sort of by accident and it's called Everyday Life in the 1800s. And it is written by Mac McC McCutcheon. McCutcheon? And it just, these books are amazing. They tell you everything you need to know about life back in the whatever year you're reading or researching. It has everything from popular slang, how they furnish their houses, how much it costs for, in this case, how much did it cost for a shot of whiskey or to mail a letter, styles of fashion. They talk about everything from the underwear all the way up to the outer clothing, hats handkerchiefs, um, courtship and mar marriage rituals. They talk about the popular foods and drinks and social and medicine, everything that you need to know about everyday life in whatever period. There's some for different periods. So because I write in the West, I bought this one. And each book, Everyday Life in Blank, uh, has a different author. So Everyday Life in the Wild West is by Candy Moulton. It's another one that I really... Um, reach for again and again. Sorry, my light is right in my face. And if I hold the book a certain way, you can't see it that well. But anyway, this one is a everyday, uh, well, I'm sorry, it's a writer's guide to everyday life in blank. So a writer's guide to everyday life in the 1800s, a writer's guide to everyday life in the Wild West. And then I also have a writer's guide to everyday life in the Middle Ages. And this one's written by Sherilyn Canyon. Love her, met her several times. And once again, they, she goes into the same thing. Food, clothing, medicine, royalty, heralding, war, vocabulary. So everything you need to know and the little idiosyncrasies of everyday life is based on different time periods. These I recommend, I almost demand <laughs> that you, I think, I don't know if they are available in soft copy, but I almost demand that you get the hardbacks or paperbacks. I don't know if they do even come in paperback because you, they have indexes in the back, so like the other day I was looking for something to do with medicine. So there's the um, the alphabetized index in the back that you can go back in the back of the books and look up a specific thing. Like in this case, let's say I wanted to look up, I don't know, a certain religion or whatever. You know, they have the indexes in the back and that make it a lot easier to go back through the book to find out the information of whatever research you are doing. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the books that I am recommending today for you as a writer to have. So round out and get them or, you know, or go to Amazon. I will put the links down below for all of these books. And if you have any more questions about books, I will be doing a follow-up video again once I pull out the rest of my books that I will recommend for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Visit my, visit or follow me on Facebook because I share a lot of stuff on there too. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Happy writing.